In this video, I'll show you how to create this awesome explosion effect inside of Unity. So yeah, let's get started. So here inside of Unity, I have got some assets from the asset store that I'll show you why we need. So now inside of the hierarchy, I have got this ground and this bomb here which has nothing but a sprite renderer and a circle collider 2D. And I have got some boxes here which all having a sprite renderer and a box collider with this rigid body 2D here. So yeah, that's basically it. So what we want to do here is when we press some key, the bomb should explode and exerting the forces to the boxes around it. So for that we will need to make a script here. So let's make a script and call this bomb script. And you, let's set create an add. Wait for it to load. And now let's open this up inside of Visual Studio. And in here, let's define some variables first. So let's make a public float for the area that we want to affect. So let's call this field of impact. And let's make another float for the force that we want to exert. And, and also a layer that we want to be affected by this force. Alright, now inside of the update method here, we will check if the player has pressed the space button. So key code, key code dot space. And well, if that's the case, we will call in some function here. So let's make one here, call it explode. So we will do everything related to the explosion here. So let's call this method up here. And now inside this method. So let's type in physics 2D dot overlap circle all. And this will give us all the colliders that are getting overlapped by the circle that we will just create now. So let's give it a point here or the origin. So that will be the transform dot position or the position of our bomb here. So transform dot position and also the radius will be the field of impact and a layer mask. So layer to hit that we just created up here. And let's store this in an array of the type collider 2D and let's call this objects. And now we will loop through all the objects in a for each loop. So let's make a for each loop, collider 2D, object in the objects. And now inside of this, we will first calculate the direction that our bomb will exert the force in. So vector 2 direction, let me just show you what I mean by this direction. So when this explodes, we will get this direction that each of the boxes make with respect to the bomb here and exert some forces in that direction. Alright, so let's set this equal to the objects object dot transform dot position minus the transform dot position or the position of our bomb here that will give us our direction and then we can exert some forces in that direction. So let's get the rigid body 2D component of the object and let's exert some forces in the direction multiplied by the force here. Alright, now let's uh, let's head back inside of Unity. Select our bomb here, and set this field of impact to I think let's say five here. But the problem here is we cannot see this. So in order to see this, I've got this quick solution. So let's go back to the bomb script, and here we will use Unity's on draw gizmo selected method. And inside of this, we can do a bunch of stuff. But we will just change the color of the gizmos to let's say uh, red. So let's select red. And we will draw a wire sphere for the field of impact here. So starting from the position of our bomb, so transform dot position and field of impact for the radius. Alright, so now let's save this and head back inside of Unity. 
let's wait for it to load and here we can see this field of impact here and we can change this using this value here so I'll just keep this value to something like 4 so that it covers most of the boxes here and I'll set the force to let's say 300 you can play around with these settings you want and for the layer here we haven't created one so let's first create a layer for let's select all these boxes and here let's select add layer and the layer that we want to create is called boxes and now let's select all the boxes and assign this box layer alright so let's just hit no because because the collider it sits on the parent object here so let's go to bomb and let's change this layer to hit to boxes alright because we don't want any other layer to be affected by this yeah so let's just go ahead and play and as soon as we hit space boom everything just goes up in the air but it doesn't look so good so let's add some explosion effect to this let's go back to the bomb script and we will make a public game object for the explosion effect and let's call this one explosion effect and down here when we are exploding this we will instantiate this explosion effect so instantiate the explosion effect at the point of our bomb here so transform dot position and we don't want any rotation on this so quaternion dot identity and let's store this in another game object and so that we can destroy this now so destroy explosion effect ins and you can specify the time that you want it to destroy so I'll put a 10 here so now let's go back inside of unity and and we do need to put it here and here I have got this awesome asset from the asset store by JMO assets called varfx which has tons of great particle effects and they are optimized for both PC and for mobile devices so we will use this one here which says explosive small ground small so yeah so let's just rename this let's rename this to ground explosion and let's make uh, another prefab out of this so let's take and drop this here and delete this from the scene and we will and we will just scale it up to 3 in all the X's and now let's just drag and drop this explosion effect to this slot here alright let's go ahead and hit play hit this space awesome so yeah it looks pretty cool but we need to destroy the bomb here so let's go back to the bomb script and down here after we destroy the effect we will destroy the game object itself alright now let's go back and we can just go ahead and hit play that's it is this and it looks pretty cool awesome now the only thing left here is some screen shake and for that I have got this cool asset also from the asset store called easy camera shake and for that to work we need to create an empty game object and let's create this inside of the main camera and let's call this camera holder and now we will make the main camera child of this camera holder all right now inside now select the main camera and add the screen shaker script to the camera so screen oh sorry the camera shaker script all right so leave the settings as is and let's go back to the bomb script and in here we will include this easy camera shake and inside of the explore method we will type in easy camera shake or the camera shaker dot instance dot camera shake and these values just work fine for me but you can also change them so I'll put a 4 and 4 for both the magnitude and roughness 0.1 for fade in time and 1 for the fade out time 
you can also make a public reference to all these and up here inside the script and change this inside the unity all right so now let's hit play and check if it's working so let's hit space and boom yeah awesome it it just adds a nice touch to the game let's try and change the boxes position a bit so let me just quickly do it and let's hit play now let's wait for them to fall and boom so yeah I, that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed this and if you did make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section as always and until next time see ya